Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to put some chicken on the grill and we're going to saute some bok choy. Are you excited? <laughs> Let's season the chicken. First, grab your smoked paprika, well, paprika, and pour it on the chicken. Next, you're going to get some Montreal chicken seasoning. Listen, I love that seasoning. It's really good. Next, what are you gonna grab? some sweet soy sauce all right make sure you grab that if you can you have an asian supermarket near you buy it you'll love it and then what are you going to add well we're going to drizzle some olive oil on that chicken the next grab your korean barbecue marinade this marinade is finger licking good all right i'm so glad i bought it but anyway when you're done make sure you mix everything together all your seasoning so your chicken can be well coated and then you're going to set it aside for a couple hours so it can be nice and seasoned i put the chicken on the grill as you can see it cooked very well if you don't have a grill put it in the oven choose the roast option 380 degrees for about 40 minutes and you'll have some juicy yummy chicken don't stop watching the video because we're not done yet. There's part two. We have to make the bok choy. Now in a hot pan, put your pan on the stovetop at high temperature. We're going to place the bok choy on there. Basically, I already washed it. It's like you're almost like draining the fluid off of it. I learned this technique from an Asian person. She's, she has a wonderful cooking channel on YouTube. And I was like, this is great. She used a wok pan. I don't have one I need to purchase because it'll make it even better. But at least this method worked even though I didn't have, you know, the special pan. So after you're, you know, you drain, you take off, you know, some of the fluid, add some olive oil to your pan. Okay. Then next add some garlic. This is oyster sauce. Get yourself some oyster sauce. Then some red cooking wine. Next, pour in the bok choy. Mix it in. Don't overcook it. It should be ready within two minutes and you'll have that crunch. It'll be yummy and you can plate and serve. I had fun making this recipe. Don't forget to leave a comment, suggestions, and share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.